Ah, sleep. Do you know that on an average lifetime, a person will sleep for 229,961 hours, which is about a third of our whole life. That's 9,581 full 24-hour days, 35,378 viewings of the original Star Wars trilogy. A human necessity and something that is polarizing in today's world, but how much sleep is the right amount? And what if we don't get it? And how do we develop healthier sleep habits? Those are all important questions. Before we cover a few of those, let's talk about what sleep really is. In our bodies, we have several always running clocks that control something called our circadian rhythm. This rhythm follows a repeating 24 hour time frame and affects every cell, tissue, and organ in our bodies. The main clock is in our brain and it tells our whole body when it's time to sleep and when it's time to wake up. In a past morning minutes, I talked about the idea of homeostasis where our body seeks balance and consistency. This clock and rhythm is also linked to the light and dark cycles of night and day. Sleep is as important as food and water. While much of the biological purpose of sleep is still mysterious to scientists, they know that it allows our brain to function efficiently, catalog memories, and create new neural pathways. It also helps our bodies take care of important housekeeping items like removing toxins and allowing all parts of our bodies to remain healthy. Sleep does have two main cycles that repeat several times in a normal night of sleep, REM or rapid eye movement and non-REM sleep. REM sleep tends to get most of the attention as it's when our brain is most active and also where most of our dreams live. Non-REM sleep is primarily made of deep sleep and generally is needed for us to wake up feeling refreshed. The length of each cycle changes over time. For example, as you get older, you spend less time in REM sleep. Studies have shown that chronic or long-term lack of sleep increases the risk of heart problems, diabetes, depression, and obesity, to name a few. So what do we do now that we know what sleep actually is and what it does in our bodies. First, we need to know how much sleep should teens really get. From about 12 to 22, teens and young adults need about 9 hours of sleep per night. However, only around 10% of high school students actually get the recommended amount of sleep. A few things that are getting in the way of your 9-hour sleep schedule include your biology. The teen brain generally has a shift of this thing called melatonin, and it produces it starting later at night, and it takes until the next morning for it to be reabsorbed. So typically, you're not as tired at what we would consider maybe a normal bedtime, and you're still tired when you wake up for school the next day. Our technology. Technology can also get in the way of sleep pretty drastically. Both the actual device itself stimulates your brain, but also the light coming out of the device tricks your brain into thinking that it's not time to sleep by suppressing those sleep hormones. School and overcommitment, and this is something that we at school have to own. School and our school starting times are a big reason why teens around the country are borderline sleep deprived. By having school all day, sports practices, jobs, hours of homework, in early start times to get up and do it all over again. We have to own as a school and as a system that nationwide we are definitely a part of this sleep problem. So what happens if teens don't get enough sleep? In addition to what I've mentioned already, teens specifically need sleep to help reduce injuries due to exhaustion, like driving drowsy or competing in sports while tired. It also is extra important to help teens self-regulate and if you remember back a few months, impulse control is an area that teens already have trouble with due to the prefrontal cortex and that lack of sleep makes it much worse. This also increases risk-taking behaviors and mental health as well as mood swings. So, how can you develop a healthier sleep pattern? We have to start with the things you do have control over. First would be to try to create a routine for sleep. 
our bodies and brains like consistency in cycles. Try to aim for a consistent and healthy bedtime each night that gets you closer to the recommended amount of sleep. And try to stick to it as much as possible, even on the weekends. And that's within reason, of course. Second is limit your screen time 30 to 60 minutes before your recommended bedtime. This includes TVs and computers, not just phones. Borrow a book from the library instead and read it for a bit to wind down. Try to turn off your phone and even charge it in another room if it's a distraction at nighttime, which it may likely be. But it's my alarm clock, many people say. So get an alarm clock off Amazon. It costs about five to $10 and will definitely help save some of your sleep. It's worth your investment. Going back to how our body and mind loves habits, and even more important now that hybrid and digital learning is to make the bed for sleeping only. When your body gets into bed, it should realize that it's time to go to sleep if that's the sole purpose of your bed. However, if you watch TV, do school, paint your nails, play video games, text, etc., it sends mixed messages to the sleep cycle and can get in the way of you falling asleep quickly and staying asleep. Try to find, if possible, a different place to do homework or studying other than your bed. And lastly, simplify and work for balance. The cost of our overcommitted lives is having a traumatic toll on all of us. You do not need to do everything to be happy or successful or get into X, Y, or Z college. Find an appropriate balance of challenge and health. That may mean giving up something or dialing it back. While that may be a hard decision to make, it often is the right one. While you don't have direct control over things like when school starts or how your body works, you can make healthier decisions about your sleep to allow your body and mind the space to grow, rest, and recover. So with that, Lakers, have a restful day.